Good morning. Good morning. Our opening hymn this morning is One Bread, One Body. We'll do the first two verses. One bread, one body, one Lord of all, one cup of blessing which we bless, and we the many throughout the earth. We are one body in this world, Lord, Gentile or Jew, servant or free. Let us pray. 
Almighty ever living God, who gave us the Paschal mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race. So dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith we may express in deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word became, came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, and scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, and Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly class. They brought them into their presence and questioned them. By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them. Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone there is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our responsorial this morning is the stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The stone that the builders rejected has become the storm cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and he has given us light. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord 
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat. But that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in, because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from the shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the retreat preacher from Kerala, Daniel Puthingal, he asked this question during, the, during his Easter message. What is the proof that Jesus resurrected? Is it the empty tomb? Is it the stone that moved from the tomb of Jesus? Because nobody has seen the resurrection of Jesus. Either the guards or the women or disciples, nobody has seen that Jesus has resurrected. So what is the proof that Jesus has risen? And he gave the answer. The proof is the death of the disciples or the believers that after Jesus had. For we are the proof of the resurrection of Jesus. If Jesus did not resurrect from the dead, we will not be here today. Because we believe that Jesus resurrected and he appeared to the disciples and he confirmed or he again uh, renewed their faith and uh, you cannot believe that a person like uh, Paul he come into the discipleship of Jesus he go everywhere to preach about Jesus and uh, finally he received martyrdom because uh, Paul was such a uh, a person who was very genius and he always think very reasonably and only finding there is a reason then only he followed Jesus and if Paul was able to find Jesus in his life and able to witness Christ in his life, that means there is something he experienced in his life. And Peter, he was a, even though he was a fisherman, he decided or he, he was willing to die down on the cross and he received the martyrdom because he understood there is something beyond his comprehension and he experienced Jesus in his life. So in today's gospel we see that Jesus appeared after his resurrection to the disciples to confirm and to bring back their trust, their confidence in their life. And uh, uh, John tells that 
this is the third time Jesus appeared after his resurrection. And Jesus continuously searching for the disciples or the apostles who lost their faith, who lost their confidence and give them back. And in that way, Jesus tells them that he is with them. The same way the risen Lord tells us today, he is with us. He is not something that is beyond, rather he is always with us. He is always near to us. So in our pain, in our suffering, he is a Lord who is always consoling us. He is a Lord always uh, who gives his trust in our, in our own ability. Because the, the disciples, they lost all their confidence, they, they were afraid and in that time Jesus was with them, telling that I am with you. So the risen Christ is always with us and he is telling that don't be afraid, rather be always uh, con continue to come to me. In that way we will be able to fulfill the mission of Jesus that he gave to the disciples. Gathered as one people, we place our needs and desires before God our Father. For Pope Francis, in his role holding the chair of Peter, may Jesus' strength and power continue to flow through him in his ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. For all those appointed to civic authority, may God give them wisdom in working with humility and steadfastness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from disabilities, may God's grace shine through them, through to them abundantly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all of us on our Easter journey, may God's revelation of life conquering death continue to help us grow in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the faithful who have died, may they praise God in the company of the angels in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the petitions of our Mary Queen parishioners that are held in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Our Mass today is offered for the repose of Rita Riker, Ron Johnson, and for Patrick Izelli birthday blessings, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Comfort us, O Lord, for we are like your disciples on the storm to seas, unsettled by what lies ahead. We turn to you, our healer and guide, to still our hearts in our time of need and hear our prayer. Heal those who are sick with the coronavirus and protect the elderly and most vulnerable. Give strength to all who tend to our health and wisdom, to researchers who work toward a cure. Open our eyes and hearts, as you did during Hurricane Harvey, that we may look beyond our immediate needs to care for others who need help. Through the Holy Spirit, guide our leaders to make wise decisions for the welfare of all the people they serve. Grant eternal rest to those who have died from the virus. May Mary, our mother, who has heard our pleas in the storm of our lives, intercede to her son that we may find healing and a prompt end to this illness. Mary, star of the sea, pray for us. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, heal us. Almighty and ever-living God, you showed us the way of salvation through your Holy Son. Hear and answer the prayers we offer today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. We are sacrificed in your sight this day, be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray the soul of exchange brought about by these paschal offerings, that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to load you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Daniel our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. 
Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not be me to judgment and condemnation, but through love and mercy before me, protection of the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, for only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray the spiritual act of communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Jesus said to his disciples, Come and eat. And he took bread and gave it to them. Alleluia. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the risen Lord. Thanks be to God. You have a blessed day.